Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a day's worth of cleaning for you. I had a lot on my to-do list to get done and I'm gonna be doing just some general cleaning, decluttering and organizing, gardening, and showing you how I make homemade bone broth. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna start by showing you how to make this broth here and I usually just collect my vegetable scraps. I leave out cruciferous vegetables and then any bones um, and meat pieces. These are from short ribs and then you're just gonna need some apple cider vinegar. Um, to make this bone broth, the apple cider vinegar, it actually draws out the nutrients from the bones. Um, and you're going to start by searing your meat and your bones. If you have like, you can do a chicken carcass, for example. It doesn't look appetizing, but I promise you the health benefits and the taste are amazing. Um, and then you're going to add in the vegetables. And these were frozen. Like I said, I had been kind of just stashing away my veggie scraps in my freezer. Um, but it will kind of reduce down. And um, so I'm gonna put the lid on just to steam those and heat them up to get the ice out of there. And then you'll add in the water. At this point, the veggies were all thawed out and you can see how much liquid already came out from the scraps and was getting all that yummy flavor. And again, you don't want to use any cruciferous vegetables in your stock. So no broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, turnips. They can all make your broth taste bitter. So avoid that, those and save things like carrots, onion, celery, um, leeks, mushrooms. You could do lettuce, potatoes, parsnips, or squash. And then you're just going to want to put in enough water to cover all the bones and scraps and bring it to a boil. And then once it's boiling, you'll reduce the heat to simmer and you'll want to do a gentle simmer so that your bone broth doesn't come out cloudy and you'll have a nice clear broth. If it's too hot and boiling too rapidly, um, it's going to get cloudy. And then you can also add in things like some fresh herb bundles or garlic or turmeric for even more health benefits. But I didn't have any and I needed this stock for dinner that night. So it'll come out great with whatever you use. And then you're just going to want to add in a tablespoon or two of the apple cider vinegar. And again, this helps draw all the nutrients from the bones. So this was simmering for a couple hours. You'll see the water reduced and you're just going to want to keep adding water throughout the day. And this was around 4 p.m. when it was finally done. Um, I think I started at 9. So as long as you can simmer it, really. Um, and then now I'm just getting all those scraps out of there and I'm going to end up straining the broth twice. chicken and yoki soup with a stock and ideally I wouldn't have used beef but that's just what I had and I didn't want to drive the 30 minutes to the store to get chicken stock but it came out so tasty anyway so just use what you have and then I usually wait to add the salt until I'm cooking or at the very end just because the water level is constantly reducing and being re-added and so I don't want it to be too salty and you can always add in more salt during your cooking process and then you'll see the finished product coming up here soon and you can even see the top layer there's a layer of collagen there which is super good for your hair skin and nails and it can also be really good for your gut joints and it can reduce inflammation and may even help you sleep better so i always try to make my own broth when i can um, so next time you end up with bones or a carcass from a rotisserie chicken or even your thanksgiving turkey remember to save them and try making your own stock Day and things have just been so crazy around here and I'm sure they're probably crazy with you too but between running my own business distance learning with my son spending time with the kids spending time with my husband and just like daily cleaning tasks that I don't film for you all the time I just don't have enough time in my day but I wanted to get my daughter's room cleaned up so that I could go through her clothes and de declutter and reorganize them and I didn't even have time this day to get through and declutter so sometimes you just can't get it all done in one day and that's fine I think you're gonna see me in at least four outfits in this video but I like to do at least one productive thing per day so even if that's just staying on top of the dishes or cleaning up 
up a small space, it's fine. And um, we're just getting ready to move. So I really want to declutter and get rid of some stuff um, so that we don't have to move as much stuff with us. some dusting and I'm going to wipe things down with a damp microfiber cloth and I feel like I'm always cleaning in my kids rooms probably multiple times a week so that's why I didn't need to do much this time um, but you can even see just the damp microfiber cloth how much of a difference it makes um, and I really like using a microfiber cloth to clean because it it makes things go by so much quicker you can wipe down everything with your microfiber cloth and you don't have to use chemicals so, you know, I might be wiping down my dresser, but then I can also wipe down my perfume bottles and not get them all greasy from furniture polish, for example. Um, but now we are just cleaning out my daughter's um, oil diffuser, which she loves. You'll see she even knows, like, how to put the oils in. Um, but it needed to be wiped down because it gets, like, we have, again, I've mentioned this many times, but we have hard water. And so it kind of gets in there and creates a layer that I have to clean out pretty often so that it doesn't get ruined. Um, but anyways, just going to clean up her desk area here and finish tidying up. shark sweeper I really like this just for daily cleaning throughout the house it's super quick and cordless um, if I have a deeper clean that I need to get in the corners real well I'll pull out my other vacuum but surprise there was more toys behind the door and I actually noticed also that the baseboards were super dusty and had like hair on them behind there so I just wanted to wipe that down and clean it real quick and you can see how much dust I got just from that little tiny corner but anyways, just to remind you, this is what the room looked like before I tidied it up, and this is what it looked like after. Okay, so as I was cleaning Scotland's room, I have this bench that I had put in here just to kind of get out of the way. She said she wanted it in her room, but um, we are actually in escrow, so big news for a house. And um, I'm trying to get rid of stuff, so I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna at least clean it up. I think I'm gonna sell it, but I'm gonna at least clean that up. And so I'm gonna try with some um, window cleaner, actually. It's supposed to work on microfiber. We'll see if it does. If it doesn't, it's in pretty bad condition already. It has like a ton of stains. I've had it for, we've had it for maybe 20 years in my family. Oh my goodness. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can clean it up. At least it'll be clean if I don't sell it. Um, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try just an upholstery cleaner. So let's see what works. This stool cushion is microfiber and I've seen online and I've tried it before on previous couches that we've owned, um, but 
uh, that I guess window cleaner is really good for cleaning the stains off of microfiber. And there's one thing that I wish I had done differently. I wish I had vacuumed the cushion first before going to town scrubbing. Like you can see how much dirt is on that towel just for me scrubbing um, with the window cleaner. But I think now that it's dry, I might try again and I might vacuum first to see if I can get up any other loose dirt first and then give it one more good scrub. But it did make quite the difference. This was before all kinds of stains, like I said, and this is after. There is still some staining, but it does look much better. And now I'm back. This is another day, another day to make the bed um, in my daughter's room. I had stripped all the linens off all of our beds and washed them. So I just needed to get those on and then I was going to wash um, their blankets because the cat likes to lay on their beds and get her hair all over them. So um, I'm going to just make her bed here and do any other little tidying up that happened um, overnight and throughout the course of that morning um, so that I can hopefully get in here to declutter. But again, it didn't even happen on this day either. So I just do what I can.
sheets on my bed here and I had only washed the white sheets so my other pillowcases were still in the wash and that's why I didn't put them on yet but I'm gonna go ahead and just spray down the bed with my linen spray and this one is a lavender scent <music> It's been a good week since I last dusted in here. And you can see, I'm gonna have to move that. All the dust. Oh my gosh. Is that a footprint? Look at this. I, I wiped this down, but my son, he like sits here and plays his video games or watches TV and movies and clearly puts his feet up on my furniture. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's usually dark in here so you can't see, but you put that light on and holy cow. which seems to get a little out of control pretty easily. I feel like I'm working all day and then the kids are bringing me stuff. My daughter brings me her artwork that she worked on. Um, but I just wanted to get started by clearing off um, some of these papers that had just been collecting here that I needed to um, shred. So shredding those to get those out of the way and then I'm gonna go through and dust and wipe down the desk. <laughs> I had that stool that I cleaned earlier at my desk forever, but my husband, his work was getting rid of office furniture and so he was able to snag this chair and bring it home to me and it was so dusty, I still hadn't wiped it down. So I was finally able to get that dust off there and clean it up. But um, now just going through and writing on my to-do list, things that pop into my head and finishing cleaning and organizing this area before I move on to the nightstand. Um, again, this is always just a catch-all for things, but it needed a good dust and a wipe down here as well.
that I use like all these different vacuums, but um, I'm using the Bissell Hard Floor Expert right now. It gets really up close to edges and in corners really well. So I like to use it when I haven't vacuumed in a while in a room. So that, that will tell you all you need to know about my bedroom right now. But um, I like to use the Shark Sweeper. And even though it's the sweeper, it does have a carpet setting, um, but it's gentle enough for my rugs that it doesn't eat them up. Um, but also strong enough that I feel like the Bissell works on this, but it, this one actually works better. And the Bissell one has a carpet um, setting also, and it also has like a special carpet attachment, which I accidentally ruined when I burnt it on my furnace and almost set my house on fire. <laughs> um, so I had to throw that one away. But this one works really awesome. As you can see, it gets everything up and it gets up so much hair. Just in time for bed and the blanket was done washing so I'm just gonna put that on before the kids go to sleep. Moving on to day four of our video. <laughs> Um, just giving you a look at what I'm working with with my daughter's drawers. It's been an area that I've ignored and neglected um, probably since spring um, because in spring and fall is when I go through and I clean things out, get rid of stuff that doesn't fit anymore, and move in the bigger clothes that I have um, stocked up waiting for them to grow into. But I ended up getting rid of an entire bag full of probably... 60 pieces of clothing and four pairs of shoes so it was definitely needed um, and I just wanted it out so I'm going through and I'm actually gonna fold things a little bit differently so that way we can actually see what's in her drawers um, she likes to dress herself so instead of her digging through and picking things out and unfolding them and then just stuffing them back in she'll be able to see everything that's in there organizing them these are the warmer jammies for the colder months and then I'm going to put the summer jammies in the other drawer there and I really need some like dividers or organizers for these drawers I think it would help a lot because things are kind of just falling over um, a little bit but it, there is room also because I have a full laundry basket that will be going in here as well of clothes that are dirty and will be washed so I'm glad there's the extra space but I think the organizers would really help to keep things more, even more organized in here. Moving on now to the bottom drawer, which has all her shirts in there. And I did the middle drawer which has all her pants and shorts, but totally forgot to press record. So sorry about that. Um, but I like to keep her shirts and her pants also organized by the long sleeves and long legs and then the short sleeves or shorts um, on one side just to keep it again so that way she doesn't have to dig through to look what she's looking for.
how much better does that look you guys I still have space for the dirty clothes that will be washed and put into the drawers um, you can see her shorts I even have her bathing suits there just for now until um, I'm sure when we move things will get reorganized um, and her pajamas again with extra space but it looks so much better it is so satisfying last thing on my to-do list was to pot my avocado tree which I have been uh, what's the word germinating for probably four months now and I started it from the avocado seed um, I just suspended it I showed in another video I suspended it with toothpicks in a little um, I it was like a little pot of water that I had um, you can see it there it's the white thing down there um, and we tried taking the toothpicks off but they were not coming out like we were gonna break apart the seed and you need to actually plant it still with the seed um, so we just decided to leave them in since it's organic and um, that was fine but um, once it grows to six inches in your pot of water, then you clip it back three inches. So I had already done that and then it grows, once it grows six inches more is when you can put it in a 10 inch diameter pot. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, my daughter loves to garden, so she is there helping me. Um, and then we just give it a good water and um, I also had to pinch off the top two leaves. So every time it grows now, um, another six inches, you just pinch off the top two leaves and that promotes it. Um, it promotes the growth even more. And so it will end up being a bushier tree. But I can't believe you guys, I had like a black thumb before and I grew an avocado tree. And I know like they say that the avocados are not going to be the same as what you get in the store. Um, that's fine but it's just so cool to see something and also for the kids to see it's almost like a little science experiment I mean it is um, that they can see the different stages of the plant and I know my son learned that about that in first grade last year so um, it's just awesome for him to see firsthand and here we're just putting some avocado food um, this uh, fertilizer you would use from February to September normally but where we live we this day was a hundred degrees so we still have summer weather so we thought it'd be fine to just give it a little um, fertilizer and avocado food um, since we're still having that summer weather and um, you'll want to keep it moist I'm gonna put this inside because it will start cooling down here eventually and also I don't want the bugs to eat my little sprout um, so it is inside in a sunny area and it's thriving so I'm so proud of myself um, for doing this look how cute it is and I can't wait to watch it grow but I wanted to say thank you if you made it this far for watching my video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you'd like to see more content from me and I'll see you in the next one bye